Hello friends, in this video we will see another problem I mean uh, related to the syllogism and uh, solving those problems using a syllogism rule called sum plus sum will give no conclusion will give no conclusion ok so now we will see some syllogism related problems based on this rule so that is what is the rule the rule is sum plus sum will give no conclusion ok so let us consider two syllogism statements that is first one is some stones are some stones are cups some stones are cups and the second syllogism given is some cups are black some cups are black ok so the first conclusion given is some blacks are not cups some blocks are not cups and the second conclusion given is some cups are some cups are stones some cups are stones so now we have to check actually uh, which conclusion is true ok so if the first one is alone true we have to select the option A if the second conclusion alone is true we have to select the option B either first or second is true then we have to select C if both are false we have to select D ok if both are true we have to select E both are select both are true then we have to select E so but if you see here the first one is also starting with first syllogism is starting with sum and the second syllogism is also starting with sum and here the predicate of the first one, first syllogism is equivalent to the subject of the second syllogism so according to the rule of sum plus sum so here also it is starting with sum and this is also starting with sum so it is going to be give no conclusion so that means we cannot conclude anything from these given to syllogism so we cannot conclude anything anything from these two syllogisms ok so but actually in the question two, two conclusions are already given ok two conclusions already given actually we cannot conclude anything from the given two syllogisms because they are starting with sum and sum and the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second syllogism so that's why we cannot conclude anything from the these two syllogisms with this rule ok so that's why so we cannot conclude anything but here two conclusions are given so that means these two conclusions are going to be false only these two conclusions are going to be false only so that's why whenever you see sum and sum and the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one so directly you can select the option of D because both the conclusions are always going to be false ok so both the conclusions are always going to be the false ok so in the previous videos also we have seen that all plus sum will give no conclusion will also give no conclusion in the previous videos we have seen so whenever you see here all and here sum and the subject of the first I mean predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one so then also directly you can select the option D why because there is no conclusion we cannot generate from the given to syllogism so whenever there is a sum plus sum and all plus sum and no plus no whenever the first statement is also starting with no and second statement is also starting with no and the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one and both are starting with no no so in that case also we cannot conclude anything so that means no conclusion so whenever you see both the statements are starting with no and no and the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one so directly you can select the option D why because we cannot conclude anything so the given two uh, conclusions are going to be false so directly you can select the option D ok so I hope uh, you got this one a very easy rule so whenever both are starting with sum and sum so there is no conclusion so very easy to understand so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel